as I went to another, another day, another day, God will give me another chance to advance. Well, I with this, my black nation, with the fact that slave trans, as I take a glance at my disposition, fucked up, that's what it does to get hate like fiction. Got to give you real life shit behind the mic. My life is full of strife. All I know is pain, insane in the brain. Fresh out with those slave chains. No political game, just Jim Crow. This is prolific rap, no be explosive. With bottle information, keep a nigga in war formation. Rap game, highly flammable, like gas station. Satan got the fucking whole world under surveillance. I'm telling y'all, artificial intelligence will be the order of the day. The holy ancestor, sure, nigga, a better day. That's our people, check the maze. Living since those slave days, we've been living in some strange times. Chuck behind enemy's line, try not to lose my mind and shoot this fucking nine. Chuck, 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 chuck behind enemy's line. These are war stories of an OG When I used to be locked down in the fucking penitentiary The belly of the beast, I couldn't sleep I wanted to be free, see my family hit the streets Get the money and the pussy Used to be motivated by the street games Slaking cocaine to my own kind Trap behind enemies line I blame America for my military crime Trap behind enemies line With a government design This ghetto dilemma that I'm limited Boxed in the cesspool Rock crazy ass fools who lack knowledge itself That's detrimental to black people's health See I dealt with gangsters and hustles And backstabbers on these ghetto city streets Now you wonder why I smoke a lot of weed I need that shit to help a nigga cope with my uncertainty In the side that I leave Trap behind enemies Try not to lose my mind and shoot this fucking nine. Try behind enemy sign. Try not to lose my mind and shoot this fucking nine. Try behind enemy sign. Hey, peace and black power. Peace be in black power. Peace and black power. We are trapped behind enemies line as black people in America. We are trapped behind enemies line here in America. You feel what I'm saying? We don't believe that, though. Our ancestors who came across the Middle Passage, our ancestors who came off of those slave ships, were trapped behind enemy's line because those slave people that was enslaved were prisoners of war, what you call the POW. We are prisoners of war in this country today, whether you want to believe it or not. Coming into this channel, make sure y'all go ahead and get that thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Most of all, make sure you hit the notification bell so you always be in the crosshairs when I drop one of these spectacular, wise videos for your mind. I'm giving you nothing but nutrition. I'm going to be the sun today because I'm about to shine bright on some things that you need to take heed on and be aware in this country. Time and time, time again, if you go back and look at some of my old videos, I told us to stay on point. Be aware of your surroundings because the attack on black people is at an all-time high. It's just not highlighted like the Jews when they go through their so-called uh, hate crime people um, commit towards that particular race of people. It's not highlighted as when someone does something to the Asians. It's not really highlighted in that essence. But we know and the world know that we are the most oppressed people around the planet. You got things going on right now in Africa where millions of black people are being displaced, nowhere to go, being murdered, families, all over natural resources that the enemy, the white man, with the proxy wars that's going on in Africa, the white man is behind that.
But I always tell our people, be aware. We're going to go back to uh, the situation that just occurred in Beaver Creek. Beaver Creek, Ohio. Outside of Dayton, Ohio. Into the Walmart. The recent mass shooting. Four people were hit. Four people wasn't killed. Two black people were shot. Two black women, I believe. One white man and one white woman. But the FBI is called causing calling this, calling this case, calling this case uh partially racial motivated act. Ohio Walmart shooting may have been motivated by racial extremist ideals. Benjamin Charles Jones was his name. Open fire at the Beaver Creek Walmart Investigators are still combing through the evidence, including journals of the attackers and suspect Benjamin Jones. Three people were in critical condition. One person had no life threatened injuries and went home that particular night. So, partially racial motivated. We know the black people are still in the hospital. The other white, the white people went home, they was injured, but they was released. I know some of us black people, when we moved to these uh, Fairfield, uh, different parts of Miamisburg, uh, different parts of the outskirts of the city, you think that you're safe. You think you have left the inner city, which we should call the outer city, because us blacks are never included. So how can it be the inner city? We the outer city people because nobody include us with none of the monies that are being allocated to white suburban middle class white suburban communities building their communities up and they don't build nothing in the black community I don't care who in office Blacks don't get no money. We get no money. Even our black churches take our money and give it to the white churches. I mean the white banks. Sorry, people. The white banks take the black money, put it in the white banks. The white banks take the money and buy property. Flourishing the white community. We backwards people when it comes to that. So when we move to these suburban areas, we move around the corner from Nazis. I go to these suburbs. They are real white with the flag outside and the whole nine yards. These neighborhoods have Confederate flags in these neighborhoods. Yes, black people, you can move to the suburb and go down certain streets and white folks got that Confederate flag just a waving in the wind. So you think you escape us when you leave the ghetto and you move next door to a crazy Nazi. I know black people who live two or three doors down from white ladies and white old men 
who believe in racism and separatism cuss black people out. A lot of black people don't want to admit that, admit it. You ran around your suburban neighborhood, they really don't want your ass there. I know life ain't fair, but that's how they play it. But you know what? This same, this same Walmart killed our brother John Crawford the third, who lived in Fairfield, Ohio. This brother get killed inside of Walmart in 2014 over a toy pellet slash BB gun that he found inside of Walmart. The caller was not arrested. How come the caller was not arrested in this case? Because he outright lied on John Crawford and he caused two deaths. There was a woman inside of Walmart that particular day, the same Beaver Creek Walmart that this race soldier partially racial motivated act. That's what the FBI is calling this act that happened Monday with Benjamin Charles Jones. You feel what I'm saying? That same place with Benjamin Charles Jones who shot our brother and our sisters and the two other white folks. Partially racial motivated. They go to the chump's house. I guess they find a bunch of paraphernalia, Nazi paraphernalia. But anyway, this same Walmart racially motivated killing on John Crawford, the police was not charged. And I don't even know why the police wasn't charged and the caller, the caller said that he seen John Crawford, the third loading up an assault rifle and waving the gun at the people inside the store. You feel what I'm saying? Police come inside that store. They see John Crawford III talking on the phone with the fake gun on his shoulder. A gun that came from the Walmart toy department. You feel what I'm saying? This brother was killed over a Walmart item that was not real. The caller was not arrested. That was a racist, motivated killing of John Crawford the third. The police, Beaver Creek police, went inside that that uh store department on intentions and assassinate John Crawford the third. They did not give him a chance. If they they didn't even see him pointing the pistol. The pistol was laid on his back shoulder, walking like this on the phone, a deep conversation. They killed his brother and did he didn't even acknowledge they was in the store. He did not acknowledge that the police was in the store. They sh shot him dead. They didn't say, put the gun down. They didn't say, get off the phone. They just shot this brother. Just like they did Tamir Rice. Tamir Rice at the park playing where kids be at the park playing with a toy gun. They just rolled up and took this kid's life. This happened in Ohio. No, Ohio, you not exempt from racism. Black people in Ohio, just because you live on the outskirts of the intercity, you're not protected because you're black. You're at war. Everybody is at war with black people. We at war with ourselves. So let me get this straight. The federal court keep ruling against John Crawford, the third people 
in their lawsuit against Walmart because Walmart shouldn't have made it easy, easy for a toy of that magnitude to uh, be easy to be obtained because it looks like an AK-47. It looks real. How is it that you could go inside a department store and just grab one of these pistols that's outside the casing? You know, that's Walmart's fault. Nobody took the initiative to look at the Walmart cameras. See, most police, to, you're supposed to look at the cameras and find out what's going on in these stores. It wasn't no active shooting. Was nobody being shot. You never heard any noise. You see the customers in the video, the John Crawford video, if you get a chance to pull it up, you see the customers walking around him. They know it's a toy gun. Nobody's in panic mode. But the caller also killed John Crawford III and also a white woman who fell and collapsed and died when the police came in there shooting. She running from the shooting and collapsed and died of a heart attack. No one arrested the 911 caller. No one tried to investigate why he lied on John Crawford and got John Crawford deleted. The family sues the Beaver Creek police and get $1.7 million for the wrongful death of their son. Uh, Mike DeWine, how the fuck did Mike DeWine become the governor of Ohio when he was the attorney general and he did not arrest these cops? for going in there and killing that brother. They outright murdered this brother. And Mike DeWine agreed with the police procedure. How in the fuck you motherfuckers who are uh, conservatives want us to uphold other conservatives or other uh, Republicans who do not respect black people? Mike DeWine is a fucking Republican. How did he go from the attorney general to the governor of Ohio. And he sided with the police to kill our brother John Crawford. I don't understand it. So listen, this uh, Benjamin Charles Jones who went off into the Walmart and shot people in the Walmart killed himself. He shoots himself and deletes himself after he shoot people who are going to survive injuries. One woman may be paralyzed from his actions. So black people, just because you move to the suburb, you're not safe. You're living in 2023. Racism has not died. It just come in different forms the different masks. And with these mass shootings of these white guys going off into these supermarkets and different places of establishment, shooting people, I don't buy the scenario that they suffer mental issues. This is just the behavior, pathological behavior of the Caucasian people. And we have to separate. This is pathological our energy, our spirit, or who we are create jealousy. It creates jealousy amongst white people. They don't want us to succeed. They hate us on all levels of the game. And since we live in a world around these crazy people, you have to be vigilant. Since we live in a world around people who look like us, who have this self-hate issue, who hate us just as much as white people, we have to be vigilant in the inner city. You have to be vigilant everywhere you go 
as a black person, you just can't go to sleep. Everybody hates you. The Chinese, every Asian motherfucker, people on this planet don't like black people. Every Caucasian motherfucker on this planet don't like black people. And some of us really hate ourselves. That's why we get in the way of our success. We don't want to be free. We so jealous of each other, we better see our enemy lead us. And they lead us straight to hell. The white man is leading black people straight to hell. If you believe in this country, that it's all that, you would die or need of some more education because the education they gave us was to keep us blind to the knowledge of ourselves, And that's why we don't pay attention when we move to the suburb. We just know it's a little quieter. You don't hear many gunshots like you hear in the inner city and you think you cool. But you live around the corner from a white fool who's on the internet with Nazi propaganda. The FBI still combing through the evidence, the attacker's journals that he write, how he want to kill black people. The Nazism is in the neighborhoods, black people, that you run to. You could go around the corner, you know I'm telling the truth, because I went to your suburbs. I've been to your suburbs. I don't live in the suburbs. Not said that I wouldn't move to the suburbs. Because sometimes you'd be a fool to stay in an area where black people like you trying to take your ass out. So, black people, it ain't where you stay sometimes. If you be this, you came fashioned in the original makeup of the black man and woman and child, people on this planet envy that they not you. People, especially the people in power, the scientists, the Vatican people, the people who know about you, who know how special you are, but you don't know that about yourself. But they know who you are. So you got to be vigilant, black people. You know, this dude... Uh, I don't buy the mental health um, uh, scenario. This is just pathological. You know what I'm saying? The FBI said that this 20-year-old white man bought a 45 caliber gun on November the 18th. So two days later, he buys a gun on the November the 18th. On the 20th, he a rally. Boom, 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 piping on people up in the store. Then in his journals, uh, he recognized that he had some mental health issues on record, but he said, I wonder if I could buy a gun knowing that I have mental issues. So if he can recollect those type of thoughts, if he can uh, ponder on if I could get a gun, because they may think I have some mental issues. And he was like, said it was easy in his journal to obtain a gun. So he know exactly what he was doing. I don't buy that mental health shit. People read shit. They, they stuck in their ways. And that's who they are. You are sometimes what you read. You are what you consume mentally. What you think is right. What you think is not right. You are that mentally. So you can formulate thought in your brain and then you formulate this, this thought and then you bring it out in action. You don't, don't tell me that's a mental health issue that you suffer from some type of uh mental trauma. I don't want to hear that. And that's the excuse they want to give every white Caucasian male who's going to keep constantly doing racial motivated acts up on black people in general. 
in every case, you're going to call it mental health. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Check out this video. Tonight, the FBI is releasing a possible motive in Monday night's shooting at the Walmart in Beaver Creek. The agency believes it may have been racially motivated. Investigators are also sharing new details about those four victims who were still in the hospital. WLWT News 5's Rachel Hersheimer live right now outside the FBI Cincinnati field office in Blue Ash with the details for us. Rachel. Mike and Cherie, the FBI and local police came to the conclusion Monday's shooting was possibly racially motivated. This comes after investigators read journal entries allegedly written by the 20-year-old suspect. It's an active shooter in Walmart. I'm in the subway and somebody's out here shooting now. Everybody's running out the door. That's one of the calls for help after police say 20-year-old Benjamin Charles Jones walked into the Walmart store Monday night and started shooting shoppers before turning the gun on himself. 38 shooters down. Based on evidence the FBI and local police collected, including journal entries written by Jones, the shooting may have been inspired by racially motivated violent extremist ideology. You can still hear the gunshots? Yes. Where's he at? The FBI says the victims injured in the shooting include a white woman, two black women, and a white man. Three of them are in stable condition, and one is listed as critical as of the last update from police. There's a dude that walked in here with a rifle. Investigators say Jones purchased the High Point 45 caliber carbine at a Dayton store just two days before the shooting. Detectives are trying to figure out if he lied on the ATF form he filled out to purchase the gun. Tonight, the FBI continues to look into Jones's background, motive, connections, and online activity to search for more answers. Now, if you have any further information on Jones or the shooting in general, you are asked to contact the FBI immediately. I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it that every mass white male shooter who goes up in places of establishment or wherever the mass shooter may want to construct a mass shooting, I'm not buying it that it's a mental health issue when it comes to the race issue of killing black people and shooting black people and harming black people just because we're black. This is pathological behavior of the Caucasian people. This has been their behavior since they came out the caves of Europe. What are you talking about? Mental health. This is cultural. This is what these people do when they see black people. And I tell black people, just because you live in the suburb around white people and it's a little quiet around white people where you live at, you live around the corner or next door or right across the street with a Nazi, a person who do not like you, who do not love you, who will kill you because it's pathological. Not psychological, it's pathological. It's the behavior of the Caucasian people. They're made to be this uh, people of destruction. Are you paying attention at the wars around the world? Most of these wars are funded by the white people. Yes, most of the wars that were fought in the war in the world were fought by the Caucasian people. But Caucasian people want something that the developing countries produce. How do you think they get it? So stop the excuse for mental health reasons is why white people attack black people at mass shootings. I'm tired of hearing this scenario where you write it off as this person having a mental health issue when it's just pathological. This is the genetic makeup of white people. You can't stand the energy of black people. You're jealous of black people. 
So therefore, if your jealousy and your envy make you be the author of murder, then we should separate. We should separate as a people. That's facts. We have not been at peace with you people since y'all people brought our ancestors to this country. So I don't want to hear no uh, someone's having a psychological breakdown. That's why they went off into the Buffalo supermarket in New York and murdered 10 black people because this person had a mental health issue. I'm tired of hearing that. It's pathological. It's time for us as a black people to get on post, know what the fuck we at when we go into these stores. You could be killed shopping while black. And I want to hear this old mental health excuse. This is pathological. We don't um, make moves to vote to separate. We don't make moves to vote for reparations and get our own nation. We're always going to be victims of white supremacy, violent behavior. That's just facts. And this is Underground Warrior TV. Make sure y'all do what y'all do. Mash up the likes, share this video. Peace. Black power. Stay black. Stay vigilant.